Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, and welcome back to the Creative Lab and our creative series of Oxygen Not Included. Now, I did a couple things, well really just one thing, uh, after I left the last episode. I went around, found a couple more um, geysers and vents and stuff like that, so we've got a polluted water vent up here, which is awesome. Um, I've got, what is that, a steam vent, cool steam vent, I think you guys already knew about that. Found another hydrogen vent over here, or natural gas vent, sorry. There are so many hydrogen vents around, it is ridiculous. I've got two here, I think I've got another one over here somewhere, yep, right down there. Um, so yeah, a lot of that going on. Um, there's a couple things that I want to do today that you can see as the title of the video is, is, um... I want to get power established, but then also um, I want to get uh, a barracks done for the dupes because, you know, I mean, they still need somewhere to rest and everything, don't they? Right? Um, so let's go ahead and get that done. Since we have uh, two hydrogen vents that are right near each other, um, it's going to be pretty easy to go through and create some type of... Uh, uh, gas uh, chamber really um, I, I don't know exactly how we're gonna do that because I need to be able to get down to oil and the dupes need to be able to well you know what we could okay we might do a couple of things to to do that so the dupes don't actually have to do anything here we'll we'll see um, so anyway so yeah so I need to get these two hooked up to something right and then, of course, you know, very, very tiny bit of water is, is what we are dealing with in this dig um, or in this uh, in this little world here that we have, which is so unusual, so unusual to have so little water in here. All right. Anyway, um, what I'd like to do is so I want to get just a small barrack set up first, I think. Yes. Um, so that way it just gives the dupes somewhere to go. So let's say furniture, um, cot, and uh, one, two, three. Copy that, and one, two. Okay. So very easy, very simple. There's a barracks for them to sleep. That's all I really need to do for them. I mean, I could go in and create bedrooms and stuff like that, but I'm not entirely sure where everything is going to go yet. Um, if I plan this out, and what I usually do is I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I like to keep the spacing 2, 3, 4, 5, like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Um, now, what I can do is I can actually take the dupes and get them to start gathering up, come on, harvest plants, thank you very much. Start harvesting this stuff that's around here so that they have food. Um, let's go in through here. <clears throat> the, <laughs> the game, for some reason, with me having everything undone the way I do, it's, it's causing a couple of issues. Um, if I have... you should be able to hop up through there, I think. Get rid of that. Okay. And then this needs to be all food, okay? Um, you cannot get down into here, though, can you? No, but you can now. Okay. Oh, lots of pips. Lots and lots of pips. So that's going to be a good thing. Definitely going to need a lot of pips. All right. So if I stick to this thing here, one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think that's as far down. Yes, that's as far down as what I want to go. Uh, that's going to run us into the bomb lilies and all of that fun stuff here. Let's see. I should... This is such an issue. You know what? Let's, let's get rid of this first. Um, let's pause this. Oh, where can I put the tank of water? Um, yeah, I guess we'll just leave it where it is for now. Okay, so this is going 
32 across. So then if I copy this, one, two, three, well, one, two. Let's see, we'll have this come down, oops, this way. I'll deconstruct. Ugh. Please tell me that went away. Okay. So this should come down this way. We'll dig out that. We'll dig out this. Same thing over here. Let's go ahead and just dig out that whole thing. Okay. Uh, that'll get us some oxygen moving around here. Perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to dig out the oxalite, but that's all right. All right, copy that. There we go. Deconstruct. That is not what I wanted. Deconstruct that. Thank you. Okay. So that gives us a little bit of a start. Uh, if we continue on with this, put this here. And if I go 32 this way, then you're looking at going to there. So 32 then would go there, which is perfect, to be quite honest with you. Um, so then this is going to go, just kind of blocking this off here a little bit. There, I think. Oh, oh, one too far, one too far. Deconstruct that. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think that'll work because that'll give us the ability to, over here in this area, let's dig that out as well. Maybe we can get some of this uh, done. Auto harvest, come on. Come on, auto harvest. Let's just, let's just auto harvest like all of this crap. Like all of it. Come on. Come on, game. Work with me here. Come on. Ah! Okay. So then that means the ladder needs to go... Ooh! No, 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 no. Copy. I <laughs> don't need any of that to get out. No. Bad, bad, bad. <clears throat> Alright, so then we'll have a ladder come up this way. Perfect. Alright. Alright. So that means that the power station that we're going to end up having, I think we'll go ahead and put in this area since this is pretty much blocked in by stuff. Um, if this is going to go, if that is my spot. Yeah. So then that'll go here. That'll go here. This will come all the way over. Take that off for now, so all I need to do is 32 goes to there. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. That is what I want to do. Okay, so that goes to there. Okay. So then what I want to do then is temperature wise, ooh, kind of warm right there. So temperate, hot. Is that hot or is it warm? It's hot. It's 113 degrees. That's hot. Uh, 25 degrees. Okay. So I want to take my hydrogen and I want to create a little box right here. Oh, so what's going to be the best way to do that? Does this give me any indication of, of the pressure that it can handle or no? Probably not. Let's see, low. Let's see, thermally reactive. Material requires little energy to raise temperature, therefore heat and cool quickly. Ooh, that would be good. Obsidian would be good. I could use an insulator. What is this? No idea what that is. I could use ceramic to insulate it. No, no, I think we'll just use this. Okay, so downfall of creative mode is I can't build over this. I have to deconstruct and redo. So deconstruct that. Put that back in. Now, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we do something like... See, if I'm putting hydrogen in here, 
then I could go... Because here's my plan. The hydrogen is going to go in here into a box and then above it is where we're going to have our power station. And then the power station itself... So the power station needs to be no more than... Where's it at? Why are these not in alphabetical order? Power plant. Uh, no more than 96 tiles. Okay, which can easily be done. Oh, let's take this copy paste going up this way. Um, actually, no, not what I wanted. Copy paste it going up this way. Okay. So 96 goes to there. Okay, so that leaves me a little bit of room. Ooh, of course, it's going to be full of chlorine. Dang it. How much chlorine was in there? I filled that up real quick. Dang it. That's not what I wanted to do. It's okay. I'll pump it out somewhere. Um, that goes 96 to there, so that means... That goes there. That gets dug out. This is going to be airlock. Okay. Perfect. And, I don't know, I guess I could leave that there. Um, are my dupes not doing anything at all? No, they're not. <laughs> they, they really aren't. Um, do I want to create a central storage, or does it really matter? I don't think it really matters right now. No, let's just get power up and running. Okay, so then I'm going to do, let's copy this. And then we'll do that. Uh, let's see, sandbox, clear floor. See, best part about this is that a vacuum is automatically created. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's the best part. So we don't have to worry about that. Um... So I've got that in there. Now, I want to fill, let's see, liquid crude oil. Um, no, I don't want to fill. I want to brush. Yes, I want to brush crude oil, 200 kilograms. Actually, let's go... Seventy? No, let's go fifty. Let's go fifty kilograms. Uh, zero germs. Okay, so if we do that, and then we create, let's go with, um, let's take this out, and let's take that out. Okay. Main reason why I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that I have these things um, staying active. This is currently active. Next dormancy in 88 cycles. Good. And then this one, next dormancy in 56.8 cycles. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So then I want to take... Actually, I want to enclose this whole thing too. Um, so let me enclose, copy this. Okay, so we've got that enclosed. Um, I want to take a ventilation gas pump, and we're going to make this out of steel so that we don't have to worry about the temperature much. Same with this, we're going to make you out of steel. I'm going to have two of these in here. That should not be overpressure. If it is, that's horrible. I don't like that at all. Let 
All right, give me that. And then really, I'm just going to take this up and over like that. And then kind of going to do the same thing over here with this. Um, let's go with the insulated tile. And I need to kind of get rid of some stuff here. Is there more than hydrogen in here? Guess? Yes, there is. There is chlorine in there. Dang it. There we go. So you copy. Is that going to... Yes, it just destroyed it. Good. Okay. So copy that. Of course, this is surrounded by neutronium, so that's not going to work at all. Um, th this is also not going to work <laughs> for me. Okay, there we go. All right, that's fine. Um, I, sh I should be able to get this in here. Gas pump here. Yep, made it out of steel. Perfect. Um, so really... So I need this gas pump to then go there to here. Okay. Now, these are going to need electricity. Okay. Um, Phil. Let's go back. Let's go to gases. Let me do... Is there a vacuum option? <laughs> Can I just get rid of everything? No, I can't. All right, so fill it with oxygen then. Where is oxygen gas? Thank you. Yep. That just it just makes it a lot easier. It really does. All right, dig that out because the dupes should be able to get down here. They can. And then here's what I want to do. So I want to get. Um, let's get two of these pumps in here because hydrogen rises. So I want to have two pumps in. And then I'm going to have both of these hooked up to one gas pipe. Those gas pipes are going to come down this way. We're going to go to power. We're going to go to hydrogen generators. Um, I'm going to say, how much does a hydrogen generator use? So hydrogen generator uses 100 grams per second. These are outputting 300 grams per second. So technically, I could have one hydrogen generator per vent. That's 308 per second. Ooh, this is 439 per second. Okay. So between the two of these, then, I should technically be able to have seven without any issues. Um, now, question is, though, how many are, am I going to actually be able to fit into here? So if I look at this, and if I go to, let's see, power stations... Let's add the control station into there, and then I want to go to power, hydrogen generator. These give off heat, I'm assuming. Yeah, 4 DTUs. Okay. We might end up having to come up with some sort of cooling loop for that. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. I'm good with five. So then we'll go with this. Let's go with iron. Okay, so we have that. Now, batteries. Because I need to be able to have batteries. Right? Right. Then we're going to start getting into some... I'm going to need to get some of this stuff <laughs> built out here, too. Which, of course, the chlorine's going to have to go with where we put our... Lettuce farm, which, that's like a whole nother thing that I'm not even going to think about right now. Okay, anyway. Um, so, looking at this, looking at this. Which, of course, that can't be done until I have a duplicate for it. Fine, whatever. Um, so, copy that. Have the... Batteries go to here. Come on. Here you go. All right, just dig that out. Give me, where are my batteries at? 
smart battery. You were going to go there, and then I need just one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm good with six. Deconstruct that one. Let's put this in. Again, iron. I, I don't know why, but I like to use iron a lot with this stuff. Should have made the batteries out of iron, but that's okay. So what I need to do is I need to have a manual generator set up at first, because all of this stuff is going to end up pretty much going together. Um, let's see, I've got one, two, three... I have four pumps, and yes, the great thing about the creative mode is that you can place this stuff down and it go behind everything. <laughs> you don't have to worry about digging out all of this stuff. It just goes right behind it. It's awesome! Anyway, that I need to figure out. Um, let me see. Okay, so I've got that. Should have, let's see, ventilation gas pumps. Those are now connected. Okay, uh, really should be using igneous rock for all of that. Now, how to hook up power to it, I guess is the big question. Do I, I'm thinking I should, if I have four of these, all four of those should be hooked up to the same transformer, um, which means I want to do, if that is here, then I want to dig out to here, copy that. I really should have that about the same. Nah, it's okay. It's all right. All right, so let me go with, I need a transformer. We're gonna go with this large power transformer right there. Um, let's go ahead and dig that out. Deconstruct, deconstruct that. This can go here. And if I end up changing stuff around, don't be surprised. <laughs> because I, I feel like it's going to work with where it's at now, but it may not necessarily work in the future. So let's get that there. Not to mention the fact, especially with, you know, being able to place the wires and everything wherever I want to, I'll clean that stuff up a little bit later on. So you're on there running. There we go. So we have gas being pumped. And we have gas not making its way in here. Of course not. So is that going to creep out over that way or no? Is it because we are in a vacuum? Gas vent over... Why are you over pressure? We're in a vacuum. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, it worked. Oh, no, it didn't work. There we go. It was just too much. Okay. So, 24. No. Really? Still too much? Okay. There you go. That's better. All right. So, that'll get us some good... Um, that'll get us some good energy going. Um, these guys, I don't want to have going until... Okay. So, first of all, automation... We need automation wire put into here and to there. We're going to say 95 and 50. Um, oh, oops. Ha, <laughs> totally forgot. Totally forgot. Give me this copy and you go that way. There we go. Now we can get the rest of that going. <laughs> All right, so we've got the automation of that hooked up, so that's good. Um, Temperature-wise, we're okay for now. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to leave that there. But that is that is a good start, right? That is that is a really good start with getting power hooked up. From here, should be a little bit better now on getting some other things taken care of, such as getting. Um, some sleeping quarters put together, getting um, really just everything else put together that we need to get done. <laughs> um, so that's awesome. I should have, there should be another hydrogen vent around here somewhere. I just, there's one down here. 
that next dormancy is in 69 cycles, so I'll probably tap into that and get it put up here as well. Um, and then also I'll look into the chlorine too. We might just put chlorine right below this, to be honest with you. And the reason why I say that is just to have like a central gas storage area um, to be able to have everything centralized. If I could do that, that actually would be a... That would be really good for me to do that, as a matter of fact. I might end up having to, like, expand this out a little bit, or maybe not. I don't know yet. We've already got 12 kilograms in here. It's awesome. I love it. Okay. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section down below. Um, this is really the, the easiest setup that that i could show for uh for power and it all kind of goes the the same hand in hand is you know it comes to you know getting it hooked up to smart batteries having uh, automation wire on there and then when you're not using stuff just keep building that gas up just just keep it in storage until you actually really do need it so um probably need to change this around a little bit maybe the batteries could move down here um, that way that gives me room for expansion up here for, uh, for more of these guys. So actually, I think, uh, I think I will end up doing that. So maybe not now, maybe later, but anyway, like I said, questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do so. That is all I have today. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.